One of the country's most popular Democratic uh, governors here in the United States is facing his first major political crisis just as he's asking voters to give him another term. Our national correspondent, Jason Carroll, is in New York with details. It was a key theme in New York Governor Andrew Cuomo's election campaign. So I am proposing a clean up Albany plan to fight corruption. And once Cuomo became governor, a vow to keep that promise. I appointed a Moreland Commission to investigate public corruption. Open up the newspaper, even today, and you see more and more stories of individual legislators who have done bad acts. Open papers now. Headlines alleging corruption not with state legislators, but with the governor's office. It centers around that anti-corruption commission he created and then disbanded. Sources close to the investigation confirm the U.S. attorney is investigating the disbanding of the Moreland Commission and whether the governor's office interfered with the commission's work. Before. Interfered how? Allegations a top Cuomo aide tried to steer commissioners away from investigating a firm that had worked for the gubernatorial campaign. According to one commissioner, William Fitzpatrick, after talking with that Cuomo aide, he directed that a subpoena to an entity with ties to the governor be withdrawn. Fitzpatrick said initially it was withdrawn, then wrote, we nonetheless decided to issue the subpoena. According to Fitzpatrick, that aide was Larry Schwartz. And while sources say the governor himself is not the focus of the probe, Neither he nor Schwartz would speak to CNN about it. But Fitzpatrick says that nobody interfered with me or my co-chairs. The governor did this to himself. He said, I'm going to set up this commission to stamp out corruption in New York State. And then uh, the allegation is that he... His administration was not willing to play by the very same rules. Cuomo did defend the aide's actions during an event last month. He drew a distinction between interference and independence. The best evidence of independence is when someone from the second floor says, well, why don't you do this? And then the chairman says, I disagree. I don't want to do that. That's not a sign of interference. That is demonstrable proof of independence. Why is that not an attempt to influence an independent commission? It's called conversation and advice. I think that this is the kind of tap dancing that you can expect from people in public life.